guys i arusha dia welcomes you to my youtube channel as classes i hope all of you are doing well people if you like my videos then please do like share and subscribe my channel and those who are new to my channel please subscribe it in today's lecture we are going to start with second chapter of geography class 6 named as globe latitudes and longitudes but before starting our chapter first we should have a small recap which we have studied in our earlier chapter earth in the solar system in that chapter we have studied about the earth the planets solar system celestial bodies everything we have studied we have studied that the planet on which we live is earth and we have also studied what is the shape of earth the shape of earth is geoid which is flattened from the upper and the lower surface when we talk about geography geography is the study of earth and the things related to earth so to study geography we require certain parameters and those parameters can be latitudes and longitudes so in today's lecture we are going to start with latitudes and longitudes i hope all of you must have seen globe globe in principal office or in lab or anywhere you must have seen globe and globe is regarded as a true miniature model of earth it tells us about how earth actually looks like here you can see globe it is a globe it has a uh, middle in between and which is rounded globe when we talk about globe it act as a true miniature model of earth globe consists of lines which are latitudes and longitudes the horizontal these lines which are horizontal in shape are regarded as latitudes and which are longitudinal they are regard, regard which are vertical regarded as longitudes so we have seen that earth is slightly tilted and that tilted angle is 23.5 degree this is all about the globe that what is globe a true miniature model of the earth it consists of horizontal lines these horizontal lines are called as latitudes and vertical lines are known as longitudes now in our previous class we have discussed what this axis axis this is north pole south pole and this axis every planet have its own axis so what is axis a imaginary line which connect north pole with the south pole and this axis it is also tilted because it is 23.5 degree tiltation of earth that's why this globe is slightly tilted now when we uh, talk about a term called as equator equator it is also a imaginary line which divides the globe or the earth into two equal halves that is northern hemisphere and other one is southern hemisphere okay what does axis do axis connect the north pole with the south pole it is also an imaginary line and what does equator do it divides the globe or the earth into two equal halves that is northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere i hope globe is clear now you can see what are latitudes these are latitudes the horizontal lines are called as latitudes and this uh, uh, vertical lines are regarded as longitudes now in this chapter we are going to study in detail what are latitudes what are longitudes how many number of latitudes are there how many number of longitudes are there everything in detail what are latitudes the distance of a place north or south of the line that we imagine around the middle of the earth equator this is equator and the distance of a place latitudes latitudes are the horizontal lines and what they do they measure the distance of a place that is north and south of the line of the line which is equator we imagine around the middle of the earth they tells us about the distance between the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere fair and between the imaginary line is known as equator direction west to east 
Latitudes are parallel to each other as the difference between them is equal. All these latitudes are parallel to each other means if they are revolving around the earth then they are not meeting. They are revolving and revolving. They are parallel because their size is equal. Every this latitude have difference of one degree. So they are equal. They never meet. The same measure distance north and south of the equator. We have already discussed measure the distance north and south. Now they get shorter towards the pole. As we can see the distance of the uh, latitudes become shorter as they reaches towards the north pole and the south pole. After that parallels of latitude. We have discussed about what is latitude. The horizontal lines. What they do? Measure the distance between the north and the south. North and the south around the middle of the earth. Then direction of latitude west to east. Latitudes are the parallel lines. They keep on moving. They do not intersect uh, with each other. And the distance between this line are, are 1 degree. And they get shorter when they reaches towards the pole. That is north pole and the south pole. Now parallel of latitudes. What are they? All parallel circles from the equator to the pole are called as parallel of latitudes. These latitudes, this we can see is a 2D figure. Okay, when we see the entire earth, it keeps on moving. The latitudes are keeps on moving like this. They are not just like this. We are seeing the front part. But backside also there are lines and they are forming circles. And they are known as parallel of latitudes. There are two types of parallel of latitudes. North latitudes. All the parallel north to the equator means the upper ones are called as north latitudes. And the lower ones are called as the south latitudes. Similarly all the parallel south of the equator are called as south latitudes. Now... I hope it is clear now. What is latitude? Now distance. As we have studied that latitudes tells us about the distance between the north and the south. So this you can see here. You several important latitudes. There are many latitudes but we have to remember certain important latitudes which are Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer, Equator, Tropic of Capricorn, Antarctic Circle. Now, this is North Pole and this is South Pole. North Pole is 90 degree, Arctic Circle 66 and a half degree, Tropic of Cancer 23 and a half degree, Equator 0, Tropic of Capricorn 23 and a half degree, Arctic Circle, Antarctic Circle 66 and a half degree. And we know that India lies in the Northern Hemisphere. Now, so there is an angles. Now, you can see here, this is latitudes. And when we see this is, it forms an angle of 90 degree over here. When it forms the angle of 66 and a half degree, it is called as tropic, uh, Arctic Circle. And when of 23 and a half degree, Tropic of Cancer. So this is the vision of latitudes. It is very important. You should learn. These are very important latitudes. Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer, Equator, Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle. Below the uh, uh, Equator, Tropic of Cancer and uh, Antarctic Circle, it comes in Southern Hemisphere. It comes near the South Pole and above the Equator, Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere. And this are the pole, northern pole and southern pole of 90 degree angle. If you can see this forms a 90 degree angle, 66 and a half degree and 23 and a half degree angle. This is all about latitudes, how we measure distance. Now when we talk about how many number of latitudes are there, so above the equator in the northern hemisphere, 90 latitudes are present and below 90. So 90 plus 90, 180 and 1 is of equator. So 181 total latitudes are there. Latitudinal lines. Latitudes that is uh, 181. 90 in which we include this and this pole also. When we talk about latitudinal lines. So the northern pole and the southern pole, they are the poles. They are not lines. So, the total number of latitudinal lines become 181 minus 2. We minus North Pole and South Pole. So, it becomes 179. 
Now, the, as I told you earlier, the distance between the two latitudes which are parallel is 1 degree and that 1 degree is equal to 111.2 kilometers or 111 kilometers. Now, total number of circle. Here we understood total number of latitudes. Total number of latitudes are 90 plus 90 and uh, plus 1 that is equal to 181. When we talk about latitudinal lines, so we will remove that northern pole and the southern pole. So it is 179. And when we talk about the circle, total number of circles, so it is a 2D figure. Earth is moving all around. So circle is also 179. I hope it's clear what is latitude. Latitudes are the horizontal line. What does they do? They measure the distance between the north and the south. Then they are parallel to each other because they have equal distance. Distance of 1 degree. 1 degree is equal to 111 kilometers. After that, we have discussed that as we move to, as these latitudes moves towards the pole, they get shorter. Then now we have discussed about this distance, angles, total latitudes present 181, total latitudinal lines 179, total number of circles 179. It is very important you should remember how many number of latitudes are present, total number of latitudinal lines and total number of circles. After this, I hope you understood what are latitudes. Heat zones of the earth. There are three types of heat zones that are present on the earth. We have discussed about the important latitudes. Total number of latitudes is 181. But the important one we have to study which are uh, that is Tropic of Cancer, uh, Arctic Circle, Tropic of Cancer, Equator, tr Tropic of Capricorn, Antarctic Circle. Okay, now between these latitudes we are going to discuss about the important heat zones of the earth. So the first heat zone of the earth is torrid zone. The area that receives maximum heat. Torrid zone is the area which receives the maximum heat because of the midday sun is exactly at least once a year all the latitudes in between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn receives the heat. So, it is the hottest one. This is the torrid zone between the area Tropic of Cancer and between Tropic of Cancer. So, this whole area is a torrid zone and it is the hottest one. Then, temperate zone. Temperate zone, the midday sun uh, never shines overhead on any of the latitudes. This is a midday uh, sun and it never shines overhead. That means maximum heat is not providing. Heat is uh, providing but not maximum. Now, uh, overhead on any latitude beyond the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. As the angle of the sun rays goes on decreasing towards the pole, the area bounded by the Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle. This is the North Temperate Zone and this is the South Temperate Zone. And the zone that have moderate temperature is regarded as the Temperate Zone. And the third one is Frigid Zone. Area line between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole. This is Arctic Circle and North Pole. The area between this and the area between the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole is frigid zone. Now, uh, in the Southern Hemisphere are very cold. They are very cold. Why? Because it never receives the sun over the whole region. The sun uh, rays are slanting. So, they are very cold. And this cold area is known as frigid zone. I hope it is clear now. The heat zones of the earth are of three types. That is torrid zone, temperate zone and frigid zone. Temperate zone are the hottest one. Sorry, torrid zones are the hottest one. Temperate zones are the moderate one. And the frigid zones are the coldest one. I hope that's all for this uh, heat zones of the earth. So here we are done with our topic latter tubes. We are, have discussed what is latitude, the horizontal lines, what they do, measurement of distance between the North Pole and the South Pole. Then total number of latitudes, that is 181. Total number of latitudinal lines, 179. Total number of circles, 179. Uh, latitudes are parallel to each other. The distance is equal, that is of 1 degree and that 1 degree is equal to 111 kilometers. Then we have discussed about the heat zones of the earth, that is torrid zone, 
temperate zone or frigid zone. Frigid zone coldest one, temperate moderate one and torrid hottest one. I hope it is clear if any question can be asked you from this you know, latitudes, you can answer it. Longitudes. Our second topic, we are done with latitudes. Now, longitudes. The vertical lines, latitudes are the horizontal line and longitudes are the vertical lines. Is the measurement of east and west, whereas latitudes are the distance between north and south and they are measurement of east and west of the prime meridian. Longitude is measured by an imaginary line runs around the earth vertically up and down and meet at the north and the south pole. These lines are known as meridians. In longitudes, these are the lines. This is prime meridian. The line which is present in between it is the imaginary line and this line is known as a prime meridian. Then the measurement of western and eastern. Okay, west and east of the prime meridian. West here and east here. Measurement of this. They are running vertical, uh, vertically and these lines meet at North Pole and the South Pole. They are not parallel to each other. Whereas in latitude we study that the lines are parallel to each other and they do not meet. And these lines are, are lined vertically and they meet at the North Pole and the South Pole. Now, when we talk about longitudes, vertical lines, okay, measurement of western and eastern part, present imaginary line. In latitude, the imaginary line is equator and in longitude, the imaginary line is prime meridian. This we can see is a 2D figure. When we see the back side of the earth, earth is revolving. So in the front, it is prime meridian and at the back of it, there I have make it, made it in spiral form so that uh, you can understand it is an international date line. This is an international date line. As you cross this line, as you cross this line, the date change. If there is 12, and if you cross this line, the date here would be 13th. So this is international date line. And what is prime meridian? Prime meridian is also known as Greenwich meridian. Because this line passes through the Greenwich, a place in London, England. Uh, there lies a place known as Royal Observatory London. It named it as Greenwich line. Now we have to know about how many longitudinal lines are there. So when we see this figure, these lines are vertical. Imaginary line present in between is prime meridian. Its backside is international date line. And the total number, this is 180 degree west and 180 degree east. So when we add 180 degree plus 180 degree, it is known as 360 uh, longitudinal lines are present. I hope it is clear now. Time. This is a timeline. Okay, green which line? Green which time? And those to the west will be behind it. The earth rotates at 360 degree in about 24 hours. 24 hours mid 360 degree earth rotates, which means 15 degree an hour or 1 degree in 4 minutes. You can see here. In 24 hours, 360 degree, then in 1 hour, 360 divided by 24, so it's 15 longitudes in 1 hour. Thus, when it is 12 noon at Greenwich, the time of 15 degree east of Greenwich will be 15 into 4, that is 60 minutes. The In, in India, the longitude of 88 and a half degree east is treated as standard meridian. The local time at this meridian is taken as the standard time for the whole country. It is known as Indian standard time. This time is known as Indian standard time. This is longitudes. The important thing longitudes, total number of longitudes, what are longitudes? Vertical lines, measurement of west and east and uh, total number of longitudes. 360, 360 lines and uh, imaginary line present between uh, the longitudes that is prime meridian and prime meridian. All these uh, vertical lines meet at a particular point that is north pole and the south pole and time is determined uh, by Greenwich line which and the standard time of India is 88 and a half degree east. I hope it is clear now what are longitudes and latitudes. Latitudes we have also discussed and longitude also we have discussed. You can also learn them 
by this diagram when it is vertical it is longitude when horizontal latitude total number of latitudes 180 181 one is equator and total number of longitudinal lines that is 360 lines well, that uh, latitudes imaginary line equator longitude imaginary line prime meridian and uh, it deals with the measurement of west and east and latitudes deal with the distance between north and south. I hope it is clear now what is latitudes, longitude, globe. We are done with this chapter. Now we are going to start with our exercise. Let's answer the following questions briefly. What is the true shape of earth? The true shape of earth is geoid. Earth is geoid in shape. It is spherical and flattened from the upper and the lower surface. Now what is globe? Globe it is a true model miniature form of earth. It is a true model miniature form of earth. Globe consists of horizontal and vertical lines through which we can study about the earth. What is the latitudinal value of the Tropic of Cancer? 23 and a half degree north. What are the three heat zones of the earth? This we have discussed in very detail. Torrid zone, temperate zone and frigid zone. Torrid being the hottest, temperate moderate and frigid coldest one. Fifth, what are parallels of latitudes and meridians of longitudes? Parallel of latitudes, all the parallel circles from the equator to the pole. All the parallel circles from the equator to the pole are called as parallel of latitudes. And total number of these circles are 179. Meridians of longitudes, all the semicircles forms the equator, uh, circles from equator to the pole are regarded as meridian of longitudes. Now, why does torrid zone receive maximum amount of Heat. The sun shines perpendicular between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn throughout the year. Perpendicular sun rays gives more heat than slanting sun rays. At torrid zone, the sun rays falls perpendicularly, so makes it more hotter. Whereas in frigid zone, the sun rays uh, falls slanting, so it is the coldest zone. Why is 5.30 p.m. in India and 12 noon in London? London is located at 0 degree longitude. 0 degree longitude is prime meridian. While the time of 88 and a half degree east longitude is taken as the standard time of India as I told you earlier. There is a difference of 88 and a half degree between the longitudes of London and the standard meridian of India that is 82 and a half degree east. Time in India is ahead of London. It is 4 minutes ahead at every longitudes towards the east. Every longitudes 4 minutes ahead. Total longitudes 360. Hence time in India is ahead of London by 530 hours. There is a time difference between London and India is 530 hours. You can see here 4 into 88 uh, and a half is equals to 330 minutes or 5 and a half hours. The correct answer. First, the value of prime meridian is 0 degree. The frigid zone lies near the poles. The coldest one, the total number of longitudes, 360. And if it's asked latitudes, 181. The uh, Antarctic circle is located in southern hemisphere. Grid is a network of parallel of latitudes and meridian of longitudes. First one is the Tropic of Capricorn is located as 23 degree south and Tropic of Cancer 23 degree half north. The standard meridian of India is 82 and a half degree east. The zero meridian is also known as our prime meridian. The distance between the longitudes decrease towards the prime meridian. The Arctic Circle is located in the northern hemisphere and Antarctic Circle is located in the southern hemisphere. Fair. So guys, we are done with our exercise. That's all for today. I hope all of you have understood what I have taught you. What is latitudes, longitudes, globes, every detail related to latitudes, every detail related to longitudes. We have discussed all of these in detail. 
I hope you understood my point and if you guys really like my video then please do like share and subscribe my channel guys please do subscribe my channel thank you for watching